hello welcome to another session of our tutorials and um, now we'll be considering how to model a heater the last class we considered how to model a cool a cooler okay so we're going to be using a new our tutorial case to continue with our class so what do you need to do you need to import the heater icon come to your object palette click on heater and you drop it okay so what is a heater used for heater is used to increase the temperature of an inlet stream okay the last simulation we use them stream one so let's use stream two okay so a cooler is used to reduce the temperature why a heater is used to increase the temperature of an inlet stream so let's say we want to increase the temperature of stream 2 from 10 degrees celsius to probably 50 degrees celsius so let's continue it's the same thing with cooler i told you high is interactive to tell you what to do so you, this requires a fit stream you go to the inlet stream select stream 2 or any stream depending on what you're working on so you select the stream you want to heat up so let's call my outlet stream stream 5 and um, I told you that it's compulsory you are you have to specify your energy stream you must you must write something in that box so it requires an energy stream so I can call this heat Q heat Q so this will tell me at the end of the simulation this will tell me the amount of energy that I need to impute into the system in order to increase the temperature of the inlet stream to 50 degrees Celsius are we together so from um from this place we can know we, we already know what we, are, we need to impute again okay unknown delta p so we have to impute the change in pressure so let's say there's a pressure drop of about um 10 kilopascal 10 kilopascal so unknown duty all right we already know the temperature we are heating it up to so we want to heat we want to heat it up to um a temperature of 50 degrees celsius okay all right so heating it up to this temperature you can come to performance and um, check out some things check your table now there's something high we do for you remember we we heated this up from where from 10 degrees celsius to 50 so the first the stream, um, stream 2 had 10 degrees celsius as temperature and 39 um 0.9137 so the temperature will be increasing while the pressure decreases remember we have change in pressure so there's decrease in pressure so across that line as the pressure decreases from 39 to 38 and the temperature decreases to 40 14 um an enthalpy will be calculated heat flow will be calculated so that can help you with your plots okay so this is the pressure temperature relationship all right so you can as well change your um maybe pressure heat flow relationship or heat flow temperature so let's say um your y okay let's say your y we have to heat flow against temperature so you see as the heat is increasing the temperature is also increasing so the heat flow increases with increase in temperature let's check enthalpy also enthalpy increases with increasing temperature all right so these are the things that HiSys can help you do you can run analysis on your unit operation and know um what happens as temperature increases and this can be done in the performance environment okay then when you come to your rating you can change your nozzle diameter based on your design and the heat loss you can choose the heat loss model is a simple model detailed model and um choose the area is it conduction heat loss parameters you need or convention so you choose what you need and define everything and high will do the calculation for you now from 
our design from our design you will discover that we need we need about um, 7,883 kilojoule per hour of heat flow to increase the temperature of stream 2 from 10 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius and this heater will be operating with a power of 2.190 kilowatts so this is simply how to run um, the design of a heater with Aspen Heisens thank you for your time and um, in our next class we'll be considering how to design an expander and after that we consider how to design um, a compressor compressor then two phase separator three phase separator storage tank and um, we we'll keep going till we're done with all the unit operation thank you for your time